Hello everyone, today we are doing another room from DriveMe that is named Surfer. So this is a room based on SSR vulnerability. As we can see here, it says we have been surfing through some web pages and this, uh, and this application has some functionality that is only available for internal usage. So we are sure that there is an intranet in use, not internet, mind the term I use. Intranet is a restricted area network, you can say, that is available only for few people usually used in the companies or in the corporate sector. That being said, let's open this IP on our machine. I'm using browser-based attack box, not my usual VMware calling machine because I do not have my PC right now. So let's launch a NMAP scan real quick. So NMAP-A-V for verbose output and then followed with the IP of the machine that is 10.10.4.6. As you can see, we have two ports open. That is 22 for SSH and 80 for HTTP. So let this scan finish and then we'll see what we will do. Okay, so the scan has finished, so let's browse up and see the results. Port 22 using OpenSSH 8.2 and port 80 using HTTP, Apache version 2.4.38. Also, there are a few interesting things here. That is a robust.txt file is found, and that file contains an entry to backup chat.txt. And also, we can see the server header is Apache 2.4.38, as I said, and the title of this is 24 by 7 system plus. So this is the title that you see um right over here like this one HTTP, uh, thm browser base this is the http title so there's a web server on port 80 that has this title and here it says requested resource was login.php here it shows you what page it browsed over to to find this uh, title okay so let's open firefox as soon as i press enter you can see i've been re re redirected to login php and that 24 by 7 system plus is there and it says log into your account. Here you can try some SQL injection or some default credentials like admin, admin or admin password before that. I'll browse over to backup uh, slash chat.txt file that we found earlier. So let's see what is in there. And here we can see there's a chat between admin and Kate. So the admin here says that I've been setting up the new export to PDF tool. So there's a tool that is in use by the admin and it says thanks. We will have daily system reports in PDF format. Okay, so these are the little things that you have to take care about and note them as to uh, remember what technology is being used and uh, what you can exploit. Admin here says, okay, uh, did about that. And Kate says, uh, have you finished adding the internal server? So internet server is also in use and admin says, yes, it should be serving flag for now. Okay, so the, our flag is in the internal server. Kit says also, do not forget to change the credits. Please stop using your username and your password. So we are, uh, so with this statement, we know that uh, the admin username is its password. So the admin username is his password. So the password should be admin because the username is admin. So the username and password will be admin admin. So we can go back to login page. And then we'll see admin admin if that is a uh, login or not. But it login. So let's do it. Admin admin press enter. And we are in. So this was the password. Right off, I can see here it says this activity, and then my eyes go directly to this because this is in bold. So my eyes directly went to this one. It says internal pages hosted at internal admin.php. It contains the system flag. Okay, so we know where our flag is. It is inside the internal directory. And I'm sure we cannot access it, access it directly because uh, uh, we are not in the internal network till now. So even if I type in here internal, uh, that should restrict me from going there. And as I said, this, is, this page can only be accessed locally. So we know that we have to be on the local network somehow. So let's go back and see if we can take advantage of export to PDF tool. So if you scroll down, we can see we have export reports option here. So it says export to PDF. So um, if I click on it, export to PDF, let's see what happens. Report has generated here. The report generated is for the URL 127001 that is localhost and then server info.php page. Okay. So let's see what request was made when we first clicked on that button. So for that, I will open the network tab in the Firefox, go to inspect element, and then go to the network tab here. 
now. I will click on the export PDF button. And we can see a post request was made to export to PDF.php. So if I click on it, I can see everything there. In the request tab, you can see the form data was URL, the URL that you want to fetch. Therefore, I'm going to change this and let's see if we can take advantage of this. So I'm going to click on edit and resend. Scroll down. And then those changes to URL equals to. PHP. Okay. So let's see if this works. So instead of server status.php, I have specified export to PDF.php. Sorry, internal admin. PHP. Click on sign in and we can see it has generated a 200 status code. So in order to see the response, just double click on this and you will see the response of this request. And we can see here it says that this page can only be accessed locally. Again, um, this happened because we requested what this IP. Instead, we have to type in here 127001 because that is the local host like the one you can see here. So this request was generated from the local host. So again, go over here and click on edit and resend. And let's change this to 127001. Send. Let's see the response by double clicking on this. And we can see we have the flag here so i hope this video was helpful that is it for this box i did not have my pc this time so i had to take my brother's laptop and then install all the software to make this video so i hope you enjoyed and keep studying and i'll see you next time